Alrighty. Hey, come on, guys. Yeah, yeah, I know where it's at exactly. I knew that was somewhere around that hey, means come on, dog. Like right I don't know. No, no time for sightseeing. Come on. Hey everybody, welcome back to Falcon Plays Fallout 4, episode number 5. Hopefully you've taken some time to check out episode 1 through 4 so far, and are enjoying the series, most importantly, let's get underway over here. We are now heading over to Sanctuary with uh, Preston Garvey's crew, I want to say. I, I guess we're holding on to this power suit the entire time, too. I I'm not sure if, uh, I'd rather just walk around normally, to be honest with you, but... I mean, I'm not sure, what, like, is there, like, some sort of, uh, you know, delivery service here for this power suit? Can't just leave it around over here in the middle of Commonwealth, right? So I guess it's coming along. Now, you guys happen to be one of the slowest walkers of all time, even slower than me. And I walk relatively slow, my friends. I'm in a giant power suit that weighs a ton, probably. Uh, let's see, I guess we'll probably, meanwhile, just pick up some equipment on the way out there. That's all we do need over here. Like, really have to, like, go this slowly with you guys? That's crazy to me. It's crazy. It's so slow. Alrighty, well, I'll just loot here meanwhile. And at some point or another, I guess we'll figure out where we should be going. Uh, glow-sighted pipe auto pistol. Glow-sighted. Ah, yeah, sure, I'll take that. Sounds kind of interesting to me. Bottle caps. Don't mind if I do. Corvega storage key. Yeah, I'll take that. Stim packs is definitely pretty good. Comfort grip pistol. Uh, harness, that's about it, huh? Okay. Shotgun shell, stim pack. I already have a short double barrel shotgun, so I'm fine here. And what about you? Bottle cap, stim pack. That's about it. A lot of you guys died part partially to me and then partially to that giant uh, dead claw, too. So that's fine. Alrighty. Are you, um, <laughs> the, the, the long family is having trouble getting around this vehicle there. Okay, you guys are fine now? Okay. What's going on, Mama Murphy? You fine? Okay. Ah, oh, Mama Murphy, how far is this uh, quote-unquote sanctuary that you're talking about? Is there any way I could check it out on the map here, perhaps? Map it out. Join Preston. This is where we're <laughs> all the way over here? Oh, my God. That's quite a bit of a walk. Quite a bit of a walk. Can I reload on the fly? Yeah, I can. Ammunition's over there in the bottom right corner. 397 ammo. So, I mean, at some point I'm going to have to get out of this when the minigun's down, right? Ah. Uh. can't say I'm going to miss this festering boil on the ass end of the Commonwealth. Uh, no offense if you're from here or something. <laughs> yeah, that, don't, don't worry, dog. I'm not from here at all. You see this right here? This blood bug hatchling? That was me, guys. Okay. That was me. Oh, I see that the Long family got uh, unhooked from there. That's ah, good to see. By the way, Marcy kind of, uh, kind of bit of a bitch. <laughs> Can I say that? I mean, maybe she's got a reason, you know, um, June. Her, not sure what June might be to Marcy, but he is kind of a little bit of a blabbering mess. So, you know, I guess they've probably seen some pretty terrible shit out there. But, um, you know, she, she comes off as a little bit of a, a B. But, you know, I guess you'd have to walk a mile in her shoes before you could actually make that call to you, right? But at least from the outside looking in, I'm just going to go with the B. Marcy is kind of a bit of a B. Now, is there any way I could just rush forward and clear everything for you, Preston? Like, do I really need to wait for you or what? I mean, I guess I probably do since the marker is literally on him. So this is technically your old escort up. mission here. I think we're close. Oh, <laughs> I love escort missions. I guess we'll take in the scenery here meanwhile. You know what? I'll give it this much. I'm not sure if it's a sign to be this late in the game right now, or maybe it just happened to work out that way based on my progress so far, but at least I'm enjoying the scenery on our walk over here to the sanctuary. This kind of gave that whole foreboding mood where anything could probably happen. As long as it's not another dead claw, I'll be fine with it. What do you see over there, Dogmeat? Everything is fine, buddy? Everything better be fine. I have a bridge over here. Am I going back to, um... Yeah, this is where I started. I guess technically we are going through the same location, huh? To get to Sanctuary. Oh, you... Is Sanctuary to you guys, um... The the shelter? Ah, oh, that would probably make sense. <laughs> I know it is Vault 111 at this point. I guess to them it's Sanctuary? Alrighty. Hey, come on guys, yeah, yeah I know where it's at exactly. Hey, 
Come on, dog. I don't know. No, no time for sightseeing. Come on. Where the first shots of the American Revolution were fired. I'd call that the best omen I've seen since we left Quincy. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, boss. But I'm glad you're happy about it. I heard beeping. Oh. Core is low. What do I just... When your fusion core is empty, you will be unable to use vats or power attacks and will move at a reduced rate. Oh. Um, I don't think we want that happening. So, alrighty, Garvey. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run over there and I'm gonna... If you have a fresh core in your inventory, it will be swapped automatically when your current core is empty. Well, apparently I have none. So, <laughs> I don't know where to get another one. Alright, Garvey. I'm gonna run forward and I'm gonna leave this by the... the shelter. At least then I'll know where it's at exactly. And I'll come back and join you on foot. Because you guys are just so goddamn slow. Yeah, okay. We're not too far from it now, I don't think. Can we get out of this map already? Come on. Alrighty. Let's just uh, head over here. Core is low. I just want to get here before... Oh, this is the marker here. Is this sanctuary for you guys? Oh, it's not the shelter. Oh, it's just this location here. Commonwealth. Alrighty. Oh, hey. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Power armor station transfer. Sure. No? I just want to get off of my robot. I know you could you just hold down E, right? But, um... I just wanted to dock it if I could. No, no docking? Alright, we'll just dock it over here ourselves. Cool. So this right here, power armor station. We will hold down to E. You can't exit your armor here. Why not? What about now? It's probably because I was up against the wall. Alrighty. Cool. So, we're, we're here. How are you guys doing over here in the progress? Uh, they're almost here. Alrighty. Well, that part's done. Did we... Oh, I have a level, too. Let's level it up here. Uh, we have level three? Sure. We went first time around with Gunslinger, correct? Non-automatic pistols now do 40% more damage and have an increased range. That's always pretty useful. Uh, yeah, I guess you could go with that one. Charisma, Cap Collector, Toughness, uh, Damage Resistance, Pickpocket. Iron Fist. What would it be for the uh, lock picking out of curiosity? Blood Belly. Uh, men suffer more from combat. We have Medic. Stimbex restore 40% more health. Commando. Rigorous combat training means automatic weapons do 20% more damage. Uh huh. Find more ammunition in containers. That sounds like a good thing to me as well. Uh, big Leagues. That's for melee attacks, right? You know what? Let's go with Gunslinger one more time. Oh, level 7 required. Mm, so commando, sneak, become whisper, shadow, you are 20% harder to detect while sneaking. Yeah, let's go with that one. Alrighty, sneaking it is. I guess we could probably just move all the way down and find out what must we have over here, but I think sneaking sounds relatively good to me for now. Alrighty, auto saving, got that out of the way here. Now, do, should I talk to this guy again? Are we just done here? Do I... Go on to my next mission. What else do we have right now available to us? Jewel, go to Diamond City. Well, I guess we still have to wait for Preston. Who's here now? Hi, right, Preston. <clears throat> I'm glad you decided to come with us. Yeah? I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? <laughs> I lived here, dog. Yeah. I used to like living here. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... Uh, oh, right, right. He, yeah. Okay, I, I've been the one who's been frozen here. I was gonna say, like, what do you mean, what war, dog? The big war. 200 I years ago. Here. Over 200 years ago. I, I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? My son did. Just my son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. I've been looking for him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind... But I've got another favor to ask. Oh, big surprise. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. There's still hope in their Miniman out there somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Miniman 
is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out with the settlement? Ah, uh, what kind of help? What kind of help do they need? Sounded like the usual. Raiders. You'll have to get all the details when you talk to them. Nah, uh, sure, I guess. I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The men and men could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. Alrighty. So this is now done. We have another level over here as well. Our maps have updated. And talk to the settlers at Ten Pines Bluff. Cool. And this here will be a sanctuary for these people. Great. Back home. Where's Codsworth at? I'll talk to that dude pretty soon. No power armor, a fancy minigun, just a pipe pistol, and one bullet. You telling me you killed a death claw with one bullet? Come on. What do you take me for? It's true. I might not look it, but back in the day, I had quite the shot. Yeah, or quite the imagination. Yeah, Sturge is almost in there. She's just on, hooked up on Mentats or something. Here, kid. Your energy is tied to this place. So, technically, am I supposed to like feed her Mentat so she'll give me more information? Because that's what it kind of seemed like they were hinting at earlier. So, stop reading me. I lived here. I used to live here. A long time ago. Ah, but the distant past ain't so distant for you. I saw you leave that icebox. This whole world is like some bad dream you can't wake up from, isn't it? The sight can help you, kid. It always has answers. Just gotta bring me some jet so I can see what it wants to tell you. Eh, I do have that. So I guess this will probably be like a moral decision type of thing. If I do give her some more drugs to get more information, she possibly could die. That's what they kind of hinted back over there. But if I give her, she will tell me, you know what, Mama Murphy? As you mentioned, everybody's got to go sometime. So here you go. Take some jet. Here. I already have some. Like a little kick yourself, huh? This will do. Now, let me ride the high to where the sight wants to take me. Diamond City holds answers, but they're locked tight. You ask them what they know, but people's hearts are chained up with fear and suspicion. But you find it. You find that heart that's going to lead you to your boy. Oh, it's, it's bright. So bright against the dark alleys it walks. That's, that's what you need to do, kid. Follow the signs to the bright heart. Phew, wow. That took more out of me than usual. I'm gonna need to rest now, kid. Alrighty. Man, she is just fucked up out of her line, isn't she? Then again, I'm kind of encouraging that sort of behavior from... Alright, so here's my power armor. You're gonna hang out over here. Can't you, like, uh... Here we go. Craft. Sure, let's take a look at the crafting over here. Oh, hey! Okay. Dogman, out of the way, please. So, helmet is what we have on right now, right? Current mods, model A, no material mod, no miss mod. Um, I could repair what we have happening over here, too. Our helmet has a little bit of damage to it, maybe? I don't know. I'm modify it. No material mod, no miss mod. Headlamp? Ooh, headlamp would be really nice. But we have no mods available over here. Alrighty, modding and crafting stations and workshop locations will automatically share items you store in them, but only if you've unlocked the workshop in their location. Ah, okay. Anything else? No? Hey, do you have a moment? Oh, this guy I talks to now. Thank you for helping us out in Concord. If only we'd run into you sooner. Uh, <laughs> you got lucky, kid. Yeah, you did. Uh... What, uh, don't mention it. Don't mention it. You guys have been through hell, huh? You have no idea. In these past few months, we've lost everything. My son, he's... He's gone. Huh. So, maybe that's why Marcy is kind of a bit of a bee. By the way, I gotta get out of the way, right? My name is... Psychomantis. Okay, that was probably a really terrible Psychomantis impersonation, but come on, right? Ah, oh, I gotta do it at some point. Uh, I understand you failed him his name. That's awful. 
I understand, believe me, I, I do. I understand how you feel. I lost someone too. But you and I, we're still here, right? We have to go on. For them. It's true. That we do. Alrighty. Uh, I guess we had to talk to Sturges as well, who probably maybe give us a bit of like the whole information about this workshop area, which I'm still not too familiar with, obviously. So Sturges, where are you at, buddy? I hear you tinkering. Sturgis? Please, just... It's Mama Murphy over here. Right Riding a high snow. Sturgis? There he is. Hey. Hey, you. Hey, Sturgis. You willing to do some work? Yeah, what do you need? What kind of help do you need? Well, for starters, we could use some real beds. We've been sleeping on the ground for too long. Yeah, let's be sarcastic about it. Do I look like a carpenter to you? Yeah. I don't know what you look like. You said you were willing to help. Making beds is what we need help with. Don't condescend me, Sturges. I'd be glad to help. Okay. Good deal. Just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. Some of these old houses still look solid enough to do the trick. There's a workbench over there you can use. Give me a holler if you need anything. Built sheltered beds for sanctuary settlers. So this is probably where the whole base building mechanic comes into play. If I had to, you know, figure a guess. I'm a really bright cookie sometimes. I could put two and two together on occasion. So, alrighty. That's that. First step, talk to the settlers. And we have the sanctuary. Build sheltered beds for the sanctuary settlers. And then we have the old Diamond City thing, which might be our main, main quest, really. Uh, workshop is going to be right here, huh? The workshop allows you to build, adjust, and remove nearby objects and structures. Between options uh, left and right, press up to find the object or structure you wish to build. If your selected object appears green, press E to build it. It appears red, try adjusting its location and yours until the changes to green. Workshop objects are built from components. When building an object, components are automatically harvested from junk items in your inventory or the workshop. Oh, that's good. Alrighty, so he mentioned beds. So let's, uh, excuse me, can we, uh... Furniture. Probably looking for right? Crafting. It would be furniture. There we go. Beds. Yes. So, uh, we need steel and clothing, which apparently we do have. 12 of uh, 4, 48 of 5. Maybe. Oh. Mattress. And sleeping bag. <laughs> okay, I guess we could probably make some beds this way. Is that all I gotta do? Really? Ooh. Okay. Yeah. So I'm actually really quite excited about this, but... You know, obviously we might have to do some item harvesting before this actually becomes a reality, so let's get on out of here and exit. Hold V to open the workshop menu while still in the build area. Okay. Okay. Oh, I could scrap these items, is what you're telling me. Hold up. Get out of this menu. I have a favor to ask you, kid. I know it's silly, but I need a chair. Something with a nicer fit for these old bones. Can you do that for me? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess, Mama Murphy. Sure. Be glad to help. Thank you. Okay, build Mama Murphy's chair in Sanctuary. Alrighty, so we just need a regular chair, furniture. Containers, chairs, that's, there you go. There's, uh, I do need some aluminum. Oh, hey, wait, wait, we have... Nah, we can make this one. Steel and wood required, which we have. Well, we can make this one as well, just a regular chair. She didn't really ask for a comfy thing, did she? Steel required, clothing, we can make that one as well. So I could go around and, like... Break stuff down. I get you. Regular chair over here. Wood and some clothing as well. Alrighty. I'm gonna go ahead and build this one. Seems relatively fine enough. Uh, build it. <laughs> it's just gonna hang out there. Can I, like, move you? Probably. Alrighty, so I figured out something over here I was kind of browsing about. It's not just any chair from Mama Murphy. She kind of wants a particular one. So if you go to the special, it'll tell you... Build this chair for Mama Murphy. So we do need four wood for that, but we also require that skill apparently that we don't have just yet. So there is that. Okay, guys, we're going to wrap it up here for this episode. I know it was kind of a bit of a shorter one, just a walk over here to uh, quote-unquote sanctuary. At least we kind of know the crafting mechanics. I'm going to take a look at this off camera a bit more closer, get more comfortable with the whole idea of it, and then we'll probably come back next episode, either do a bit of crafting or just take on to the next mission, and then I'll probably wrap up the episodes of recording here today, and I'll take a look at this off camera 
uh, during nighttime and um, come back next set of recordings with a better understanding of it. So I think that's what we'll probably do. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.